Here's one thing you can do with an old shadow box or even a new one. For this project, you need a shadow box and some moss, maybe in a few different colors. I'm gonna use a little bit of cardboard, but you could do it without this. And I'm gonna use a scrap of wallpaper, but you could use some old sheet music, some art, some book pages, or nothing at all. Also, you might need glue. And of course, a little collection that you want to display. If you ever wondered how to display small collectibles, this is one idea, because we're gonna turn ours into a piece of art. Because I don't want to glue onto my shadow box because I like flexibility, I'm going to cut little squares of cardboard to fit where I'm going to put the moss and put my wallpaper. I decided to create a small plan ahead of time using a photo of my shadow box and then marking it up on my phone. This gave me a great idea of where I wanted to put each color of moss. After I have everything cut and fitted so it's a little bit snug, I'm going to start attaching the different colors of moss with glue. After I glued all my moss down and put on my wallpaper, I'm placing each piece of cardboard into my shadow box according to my plan. You could also do this without a plan and wing it as you go. If you're looking for these exact colors of moss or even this wallpaper, I've linked that for you in my Amazon storefront. This project does take a little bit of time, but it's so easy that almost anyone could do this. This month, I'm working on a gallery wall for my living room. I'm so excited to put this in there. I'm gonna put nail holes in the wall now and put it up, but it might not stay in this exact position. If you notice, as I'm putting things into my shadow box, I've come up with a bit of a theme. We have some owls, we have some brass, and we have bottles. Sticking to a theme makes your collectibles a little more cohesive and a lot more like a piece of art. I adore how this turned out, and I can't wait to see how the rest of my gallery wall forms around this in my living room. This project would work in any size shadow box, and you could use just one color of moss to make it a little simpler. And if we haven't met, I'm Sandy from Whimsy Barn. I'm so glad you stumbled upon us. Check out my online shop, maybe jump on the email list, and definitely come back tomorrow because we'll have more vintage goodness.